Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss what are the different kind of popular automations that you can build inside Pabli Connect. A lot of time lot of people keep on asking me that Neeraj what kind of automations we can build inside Pabli Connect and what are some of the automations that you see will actually provide us fruitful results inside Pabli Connect once we start to automate our business. I will be telling you the exactly the same but before we start I just wanted to let you know that I am Neeraj Agrawal and I am one of the co-founders of Pabli Connect and in this video I am going to give you few tips on what all automations you can build inside your account and basically automate different sites of your business yourself. Now the very first automation that I will actually recommend you to build is automating the replies that you are getting in your Google My Business account. Now the reason I am fond of giving this uh, automation on the first hand is just because this is one of the automation that I am also using personally in our business. Anytime someone leaves a review on your Google My Business page, you can basically reply to those persons automatically. Now I have been through lots and lots of Google My Business pages and I always see that there are several restaurants out there, there are several businesses out there, there are small businesses, medium businesses, there are large businesses who are getting reviews all the time on Google My Business. But if you head over to different Google My Business pages, you will actually see that lot of people are getting several reviews on their pages, but not a single one of them is actually replying to the person who is actually leaving them a review. With this specific automation, you can reply automatically to new reviews that are posted on your Google My Business pages automatically based on a star rating. So if you are getting a five star rating, you can basically send a thank you note. If you're getting a two star rating, you can ask for a feedback on how you can improve your service better. So basically automating Google My Business is something that I will highly recommend you to do if you are not doing it already. I will be showing you uh, how we are doing it in our business in the next slide and you can basically get some ideas on how the very same thing can be done in your business. So as you can see right here, this is a magnet brain software page which happens to be the parent company of Pabli and you can see whenever there is uh, any review that is posted right here, immediately along with the name of the person who has actually sent the review, we send a thank you for your review note right here. And you can see that this review has been posted a month ago and it has been replied a month ago already. This has been posted two months ago and there is a reply you can see right here as well. So basically you can even automate your Google My Business ratings or reviews replies on the basis of star ratings as well. So that is one thing that I will highly recommend you to set it up in your business. Let me just uh, clear everything up before we move on to the next slide. So the next thing that I will highly recommend you to do will be to capture leads and add them to CRM automation platform, Google Sheets and more. Now I have seen lots and lots of business who are capturing leads in different ways. Some people are using Facebook lead ads to grab new leads. Some people are using contact form on their website. Some people are using some other kind of form. There is a pop-up on their website. There is a lead generation software that is installed on their website. I have seen at least 20 to 30 different combinations that people use to capture leads in their business. Now, I have seen that a lot of people are capturing those leads and they are definitely working hard to capture those leads but they are not actually doing proper follow-ups with their leads once those leads are captured. Now the interesting thing is what you can actually do with Pabli Connect is you can basically send those leads which are being captured through Facebook leads or your own internal form solution or whatever it is. You can immediately send those leads to your CRM system, automation system or maybe into a Google Sheet so that your team can follow up with the lead who has been submitting their details. Now. Uh, when I see a different kind of automation platform, I see people sending their leads to HubSpot. I see people sending their leads to Active Campaign so that they can basically trigger an automated messages uh, from their 
automation tools right away. So it is all up to you. You can send and deliver emails, SMS messages or whatever you want uh, by just integrating those lead system to your uh, CRM system or an automation system with the help of Fably Connect. Now when I see capture leads, you might have understood that you can capture leads through Facebook lead ads, Google Forms, different forms on your website, a pop-up software or whatever it is. But when it comes to adding them into an automation platform, you can uh, add it, marketing automation platform, you can add it to ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, MailChimp, Aweber. We actually have tons of integration possible with just about every marketing automation tool out there. And once the lead is inside your marketing automation tool, you can basically send a follow-up message and get connected with your leads as easily as possible. I have also seen instances where people uh, send their leads to Google Sheet and their sales team basically calls those leads up in real time. So basically, whenever there is a new lead, you send those lead across to your Google Sheet. There is a sales team who gets assigned that specific lead and then that sales team can actually call up to the leads in order to do some sales or whatever it is. Now, we also have tons of videos on the very same thing that I'm telling about. So we actually have, if you go to the YouTube channel of Pabli, you will actually find add Facebook leads to Google Sheet, how you can send Facebook leads to Google Sheet from where your sales team can take it up and maybe call them up as soon as possible. You can also learn about sending automatic follow-up follow messages to your Facebook leads on WhatsApp, and you can also learn how to add Facebook leads to your CRM. Now, these are all the examples which are focused on Facebook lead ads, but if you go and head over to Pabli Connect YouTube channel, you will actually find lots and lots of different possibilities and combinations of sending leads to different places. In the next thing, uh, in this specific slide, you can also, I have also seen that people are capturing order details and once they are capturing that order details, they are sending those order details to SMS messages, they are sending those order details to WhatsApp or emails. Now, different type of people use different type of platform. For example, here in India, a lot of people use Razorpay and Instamozo for collecting payments. In your country, you might be using some other order platform for collecting payments. Now, as soon as you collect the payment, you actually want them to, uh, you actually want to send those people order details on their WhatsApp. Now, basically with the integration that is possible inside Pabli Connect, what you can do is you can capture the order details from your, uh, from your payment gateway provider directly, whether it is a Stripe, PayPal, uh, it might be Razorpay, Instamozo, or just about any other payment gateway. You can get an order details directly inside Pabli Connect. And once you have the order detail, you can send those order details onto the customer end, and you can maybe deliver an invoice to them. You can send them order details. You can send them delivery information or what all kind of things you want to send. You can send them on their email, SMS message, WhatsApp message, or whatever you really want to send as soon as the order is completed. I have also seen instances where people also send digital downloads uh, with the help of Google Drive where when the order is completed, they automatically send a file from, a, from their Google Drive in real time. Now that is something which is possible as well within, with the help of Pabli Connect and you, this is something that you can automate as well. So this is just an example. Uh, if you see right here, let me show you. So if you see right here, uh, as soon as the order is confirmed, you can see we can send a order confirmation message on WhatsApp. We actually integrate with an official WhatsApp API provider like 360 Dialog, Twilio and more. So you can basically deliver WhatsApp message as soon as an order is purchased. So you can basically send a WhatsApp message to the person. You can even send SMS message and you can even send email messages uh, once the order is confirmed. And it is not just a simple message that you can send. If you want, you can send them an invoice. You can send them any specific file that you want to send. Or even if you want, you can send a Google Drive file to those persons once the payment is completed. So I'll just move on to the next slide now. The third thing that you can, actually the fourth thing that you can do with Pabli Connect is auto-enrolling 
students inside the course platform after the sales is done. And this is one of the use cases that I see lot often in the Pabli Connect platform where there are a lot of people who are into selling courses, online courses, LMSs and all those kinds of things. So what they effectively do is all their LMSs does not have their favorite payment gateway integrated for their country. So what they do is they collect a payment through a different uh, payment gateway altogether. But as soon as the payment is completed, they are enrolling the very same students inside the learning management system in real time. Let me give you an example. For example, in Pabli Connect, we integrate with different LMS platforms like Thinkific, we integrate with Learnable, we integrate with uh, Zenler, uh, we integrate with tons of different LMS platforms. So what effectively users are doing is they are collecting payment through their own uh, favorite payment processor or payment gateways or even their checkout solution. So I have seen people uh, getting the purchase done through Thrivecard, Pabli subscription billing, Stripe, Razorpay, Instamozo and as soon as the payment is done, what they are doing is they are effectively enrolling those students inside uh, the learning management systems like Teachable, Thinkific, uh, Zenler, Learnable, LearnDash and all those different platforms. So this is something that you can do as well. So course plus platforms does not have your required payment platform integrated and that is why you take the payment from a different solution provider and then enroll the student inside the course, course platform in real time. So this is one thing that I will highly recommend you to build if you are into course selling. Uh, you can basically get uh, purchases from somewhere and as soon as you get that purchase you can enroll the students into a specific payment into a specific learning management system right heading over to the next section uh, let me just rub it out heading over to the next section uh, we actually have videos on how you can instantly assign codes to student in Zendler on Razorpay sale, how you can enroll users to a stock market course and send WhatsApp message. This is Thinkific integration and how you can add Facebook leads to your CRM. I guess this is not the right image, but otherwise there are tons of videos on our YouTube channel which will actually show you how you can integrate uh, your learning management system with your payment tool, right? So heading over to the next segment and this is something I specifically created this slide separately because uh, a lot of people need it, want it and use it. Uh, right now we were talking about enrolling students to a learning management system but I am also seeing a lot of people who are enrolling students uh, or their leads inside platforms like Zoom where they are going to give a webinar. Now a lot of people run Facebook ads, they are collecting leads all the time, right? And on those leads they want to run a scheduled webinar. So what they are essentially doing is as soon as uh, a lead arrives in their inbox, what they do is uh, they automatically enroll those leads inside the platform like Zoom where they are going to take a webinar. So auto register users in webinar once they sign up through ads or they do a payment on a different platform. Enrollment both in case of free or paid webinars. So there are certain people who also do paid webinars. So as soon as the order detail comes, they send those order details inside a webinar, scheduled webinar and they add those persons up. So that is in the case of paid webinars. But at the same point of time, there are cases where they are add those students into a free webinar. So depending upon your need, you can enroll a student inside webinar platforms like Zoom. I specifically created this slide because I'm seeing um, this, is, this is one of the requirements that a lot of people have. And we also have a video on YouTube which says how you can add registrant to your workshop when the payment is received. Now this example shows Instamozo to Zoom, but do not worry it is not just Instamozo to Zoom. It can be Razorpay to Zoom, it can be just about any other payment platform to Zoom. So you can register or enroll students to a specific webinar as soon as the payment is completed. And Coming on to the next point, uh, in fact the next use case, what you can essentially do is, and this is one of the automation I am particularly fond of myself, 
the reason I am fond of this automation is because <laughs> I am using it myself in my business as well. So what I am essentially doing is I am fetching my ad spend data because we run tons of ad for Pabli Connect platform itself on Facebook uh, and as soon as we spend any specific amount in a particular day what I do is I create a nice looking data studio sheet where I show how much ad spent we have done, uh, how much ROS which happens to be written on advertising spent we have got, uh, how much sales has been made and what are the number of amount of sales that have been made, right? So the volume of the sales and the value of the sales. So we track those things up in a nice looking Google Data Studio sheet with the help of Public Connect. Now the first thing that we do is we fetch or what should I say is we pull the data from Facebook Ads Manager in real time. So what I do is I have a scheduler set up in Public Connect which runs every 5-10 minutes. It keeps on pinging Facebook, fetching and pulling all the ad spend data for a particular day and it keeps on adding those data inside Google Sheet. So for example it is 12 a.m. it will say ad spent as zero. At 1 a.m. it will say ad spent as $100. At 2 p.m. at 2 a.m. it will show the ad spent as $150, $200, $250, $300. So whatever order in which the ad spent is done, it will show and it will keep on increasing the ad spent and it will keep on adding those records inside Google Sheet. And once I have all the records in Google Sheet, I create an aggregated report inside my Google Data Studio Sheet, which looks nice. You can share it with your boss or you can in fact share it with your teammates who can actually take essential business decision based on the data that has been fetched from different places. So you can fetch records to Google Sheets and then create Data Studio reports out of them. Fetch ad spend data from Facebook, send to Google Sheet and build Data Studio reports out of them. Now I am talking about ad spend report here but I have seen people doing different kind of reports which includes uh, for example you, if you have a YouTube channel if you are tracking views you can create a report on views. Um, it is all up to you, the uh, imagination is the limit but this is how my sheet looks like. You can see Pabli Connect Facebook ad spend versus sales. Facebook ad spend versus sales and you can see my Google Data Studio sheet actually has the date column first, then it is the Facebook ad spend data in the next column, how much sales I did on a particular day, what is the ROS that I have received, how many distinct customers have purchased and how many distinct customers have purchased including the upsells, what is the average revenue per user and what is our customer acquisition cost. So depending upon all these datas, I have created a Google Data Studio report and I am using it and I am automating it with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is one interesting thing that you can do, you can pull data from different sources like, uh, like Facebook ads and basically create report out of them, right. And lastly, I just want to show you one more use case, which is to send automated reminders before scheduled dates. And I have created a video on this specific topic where you can send webinar reminders, meeting reminders to the users who have signed up for your webinars. So a lot of time people sign up, but they often forget that they have already signed up for a webinar and there is a no show that keeps on increasing, right? Uh, with this specific method, you can remind the people who have signed up for your webinar on their WhatsApp, email or SMS message by sending them a SMS message or WhatsApp message or Gmail and you can tell them that, hey, there is a webinar which is coming up in just about 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 2 days before, 3 days before, 4 days before, whatever it is. And there is a specific video, uh, Zoom webinar reminders on WhatsApp and you can see different reminders on WhatsApp on how you can, uh, you can basically see videos on uh, webinar reminders and you can actually find how you can do that with Pabli Connect. There is a YouTube channel on which you can find the very same use case. So again, uh, thank you for watching all those different possibilities that are possible inside Pabli Connect. I do hope that you will keep on using Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, reach out to my team. We do have a very active forum and you can basically ask your questions at forum.pabli.com. Keep on using Pabli Connect and let us know if there are any questions of any kind. Have a great day, enjoy your day.